Today on Josh's Garage, I'm gonna tell you everything you ever wanted to know about this snug top truck cap right here. Let's go. This is the snug top extra vision cap. And what that means is it has oversized windows that come with a slider and a screen. I've ordered it also with the Pro Lock remote control for the extra door locks. It's got the front sliding window and I've increased the uh, carrying capacity to 500 pounds. I've ordered it with the, more, the reinforced roof that has extra carrying capacity. Uh, this, it's hard to get exact specs on this cap, but uh, from what I can tell, this is about a 250 pound cap. I've owned the cap now for three years. I take it on and off several times a year, depending on what's going on as you've... I created a hoist so this uh, could be done easily. I've made another video about it if you've seen it. And in that video, I told about the cap surviving this great crash. The first time I built a hoist, I under-engineered it. I used wood rails that gave way and broke loose. And um, the whole cap and tent came crashing to the ground and it must have fallen just completely flat because there was, the only damage were these little cracks in the front corners of the cap. So I've got to give Snug Top props because it fell from 14 feet high to the ground, took the blow, the glass didn't break, I mean none of the glass broke, just a little bit of crack in the fiberglass. So they're really well built. All right, let's get to the list of things I love about this cap. The first one is structural integrity or robustness. As you've seen, I'm able to jump up and down on the top of this cap. It also takes the weight of my roof rack, my rooftop tent, and two occupants, and doesn't whimper a bit. The second thing I love is the fit and finish. It's just really tidy. The windows seal right, the headliner carpet is trimmed right, it's seamless inside, it's just really well built. You can tell that the folks at Snug Top take pride in their work. The third thing is this Snug Rug headliner. It's um, really thick. And in, in fact, when we go overlanding, my kids will sometimes sleep in the back of the cap here. And uh, by morning, this thing is a sweat lodge. It's so well insulated. I mean, it's 75 degrees inside when you open it up. And uh, that's pretty amazing. It's, it's really well insulated. Which leads me to the fourth thing I love, these sliding windows. Because it gets so warm at night, uh, we can open these windows and crack them, and, and uh, with these screens, no bugs are coming in. So it makes for a very comfortable sleeping area as well. Truly filling the role of a camper shell. And there's a couple things I don't love on this unit. First is the seal on the rear window. I've readjusted the brackets and I've tried to get it to pull tight enough to completely seal, but you know, I'm going down some really dusty roads when we're, when we're overlanding and the dust tends to creep up and get inside of the rear window. It's not a lot, but it's enough to be bothered by it. So the seal on the rear, rear window isn't perfect. So I, I'd mark it down for that. Uh, but I'm sure that's true of most or all truck caps. The second item I don't love is the flex in the rails under the J-hooks. Uh, the fiberglass rails on the side seem to flex quite a bit when I'm fastening the top down. Um, if you can see here, I can just move it with my hand. If I were designing these, I would add extra reinforcement along these rails, maybe a steel plate or something, so that these don't flex quite as much. When they flex, it just makes it hard to continue to tighten down the, the nut because the nut starts getting embedded in the washer and, and mushrooming up. And yes, it has to be tightened down that much. A couple of times I haven't, and I've seen the cap slide back four or five inches. Not good. So hopefully that was helpful, and if you're in the market, I hope you get a snug top. Uh, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. If you have other questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll see if I can answer them. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.